What is good everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K Lab video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Dimer badge and the boost that it provides. In 2K23, this has been a badge I typically skip as playmaking badges are hard to come by and also Dimer seems more of a luxury than anything. But after looking at our tests, it may be more helpful than I originally thought. This is going to be a short video packed with information, so if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content and let's get right into the video. The Dimer Badge has been a staple in 2K for years, but for some reason this year, I just feel like it's not as worthy as the other badges in my badge loadout. The badge description says that when in the half court, passes by Dimers to open shooters yield a shot percentage boost. This definition has been the same for years now, and it does say open shooters, but that doesn't necessarily mean the shot contest has to be open because it does work on contested shots as well. It's a tier 1 badge for all builds 6, 9, and below, and for some reason it's tier 3 for all builds 6, 10, and above, which seems weird to me because the post playmaker badge, which is the equivalent of Dimer for big men, is also tier 3 for build 6, 10 and up and it just seems as if 2k doesn't want taller players to be equipping these types of badges this year with all these restrictions but that's besides the point since mainly guards will be using this badge anyway but it's just a random thought i wanted to point out now for this test we took 200 shots for each 10 milliseconds throughout the green window at each badge level and without the badge for a total of 7,000 shots and when we look at the graph what we found is that the bronze level once again provides a solid boost over no badge as it can increase the make percentage of the shooter by about five to eight percent in some areas of the green window now the bronze level provides similar results when compared compared to silver and gold and I honestly don't see a reason to be using these mid-tier levels as it seems like a waste of valuable playmaking badge points. The center of the green window doesn't see a noticeable boost until you get to the hall of fame level which sees a significant boost throughout the entire green window so if you're more of a playmaker looking to get your teammates open then hall of fame might be the way to go. If you're just looking for a place to spend that leftover badge point bronze dimer might be the move. Now that is all we got for the dimer badge test guys a quick one if you found this video helpful be sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one later.